Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor and today I'm gonna to teach you how to eliminate odors from your closet. A little bit of a background story. My husband and I, we just bought this house not long ago. We're recently married and unfortunately we didn't smell anything when we bought the house but of course now all of our closets smell like cigarette smoke we're not smokers but all of our clothes smell like we are smokers so this tutorial is something that really worked for us in our closets and helped us to eliminate those odors in our house you could also eliminate odors such as pet odors or a musty odor or cigarette odors, just like the problem that we had. In the description below, I've went ahead and posted a shopping list with links to all of the products that I used in this video. Let's get started. Step number one, you need to take everything out of your closet. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So all the clothes, all the shoes, everything needs to be off the floor. Here's what my closet looks like when it's totally empty. Now I did leave the metal racks and the bars in there to hang all my clothes on, but you can see on the walls, they look yellowing. They're definitely not white. They are, it might be hard to see, but they're definitely not white white like they should be. Step number two, you're gonna open up the windows in your bedroom so that you have proper ventilation. Proper ventilation is important because the paint that we're gonna be using has chemicals in it that are very potent. You really don't wanna breathe these in. You wanna have fresh air coming in and out of the room. Step number three, you're gonna protect the floors by using a drop cloth. You're also gonna need masking tape to secure the drop cloth to the floor. The purpose of the drop cloth is because when you're painting, you're gonna be painting the ceiling, the walls, the trim, the back of the door, you're gonna be painting everything. So you wanna make sure that you have your floors protected and covered. Also, you wanna be wearing clothes that can get dirty as well. So I purposely wore this sweatshirt, leggings, and socks because I knew that they were all going to be getting dirty. Step number four, it's time to paint. First, you gotta open up your can of paint and you're gonna use a flat tip screwdriver. This will help you to pry open the top of the can. Then you're gonna go ahead and use a wood stir stick to mix together the paint so it is all combined very well. During this time, I also put on my mask that has air filtration pads in the nose and the mouth so that it purifies the air that I'm breathing. Just remember that this paint, it is toxic. It does have harsh chemicals in it, and it does have an odor. The odor goes away after a little bit of time, but when you're applying it in a small space like a closet, you don't wanna be breathing in those fumes. Yes, you opened up the windows and there is some ventilation, but you might as well protect yourself even more. During the painting process, I'm gonna be giving you tips. This first tip is to start painting in the top corner of your closet. For me, I'm gonna be starting in the top right corner. The goal is going to be to start at the top of the closet and work our way down to the bottom. 
This just helps because if I'm starting at the top and if anything drips, it's going to drip down. And that's just because I'm really putting on a heavy coat of paint. I'm not doing a light coat. I'm doing a heavy coat of paint so I only have to paint this closet once. The paint that I'm using is literally putting a barrier between me and the odors that are soaked into the wall. Another tip during this painting process is just to have a smaller bucket or a cup to pour some of the paint into so you don't have to keep going up and down the ladder. This way you have some right at your reach. You can keep dipping your paintbrush right back into it and keep working. Woohoo! We made it through halfway of the painting process. Right now I have the ceiling done and halfway of the walls. I can now go ahead and put away my step stool as I won't be needing it anymore. Here you can definitely tell the discoloration in the walls from the cigarette odors. Just keep painting, just keep painting. All right, it's time to paint and finish the rest of our closet. This is definitely, in my opinion, easier than the ceiling. You don't have to use the step stool anymore and you can reach the bottom half of the walls. Another tip during the painting process is if you have textured walls like I do in my closet, make sure you are doing horizontal and vertical strokes. You want to do horizontal strokes, meaning side to side, and then vertical strokes are up and down. So just make sure you got a lot of paint on your paintbrush and go side to side, up to down, side to side, up to down. And that'll just make sure that the paint is fully covered on the wall and you get into all those little small spaces. When you get to the very bottom of your closet, you're going to want to sit down. Now, this is another reason why I said to wear clothes that you can get dirty. The paint, it doesn't come off the clothes. So if you get paint on your clothes, it's not gonna come off.
Another tip is just to make sure that you don't forget about the back of the door or any molding or trim in your closet. All of these things have soaked up that cigarette smell odor or other odors and you just want to make sure that you paint those as well so you're blocking those odors. The painting process is all done. Now I would highly suggest that you let the closet dry for at least 24 hours. Another tip for after you're done painting is do not forget to take off your shoes and socks. Just think you probably just walked through some paint that was on your drop cloth and now you're going to be walking through your house. Unfortunately this happened to me and which is why I am telling you. I do know that if you accidentally get paint on laminate flooring, it will come off easily with just a rag and some water. If you need a little extra boost, you can also use Dawn liquid dish soap. My very last tip for this project is a tip that will get rid of the paint smell even faster. All you will need is some white vinegar, which I'm sure you have laying around the house, and a small bowl. Just pour about one or two cups of vinegar into the bowl and all you do is leave it in the closet. The vinegar almost sucks up that bad chemical paint smell and leaves the room and closet smelling fresh. And that's it. That's how you eliminate odors from your closet. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I post videos on DIYs, tutorials, and how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video coming soon.